everybody, welcome back. Doing another Minecraft story mode here, uh, playthrough, and we're gonna start episode two right now. This game is pretty fun. I mean, like it's just a story. Previously on Minecraft story mode. Heroes can come from unlikely beginnings. And broken friendships can lead to dark rivalry. When the world is in danger, fate calls on the ordinary to do extraordinary deeds. And go on journeys they had only dreamed of. Our heroes, thrown together by fate, must now seek help from a legendary inventor. But the question remains, will it be enough to save the world? This is so cool! The amount of engineering it must have taken to do this? Automated train tracks running all through the nether, connecting all the different order members? And imagine the scaffolding you'd need to make all this. Eligard was probably fighting off zombie pigmen with one hand, wiring redstone with the other. This is impressive! Thanks to these rails, we'll be there in no time. If we don't get the order back together, the Witherstorm is going to eat everything. We're gonna get to Eligard, get her to help us, and we're gonna save the world. I hope you're right. We definitely stand a better chance with Eligard's help. Uh... Jesse! <gasps> you're doing with it. Let's go. I never doubted you for a second, but but that was incredible. Maybe we have a chance of getting to Eligard after all. Look, there's the sign. Redstonia. Redstonia, here we come. greatest redstone builders in the world. Wow. Who would have thought that someday I'd really get to visit Redstonia, Eligard's capital city of engineering. Incredible. Do you think Eligard will be willing, you know, to help us? Yeah. Can only find out. Credits of the episode two. We seem to do this per episode. Now let's play. 
place is really cool looking. Redstone heaven. Awesome. Builders of Redstonia, I want you to know how much I value and adore each and every one of you. Your hard work inspires me every day. Jessie, there she is. I am about to enter my dome of concentration, where I will be unreachable for the foreseeable future. But I will emerge when I complete my latest and greatest creation, the Command Block. So please, continue working, continue building, and whichever person most impresses me, they shall be my protege. Ready to help usher in a new era of innovation and creativity. Calvin, throw the switch. Jesse, we need to get there before she totally locks herself in. Ah, crap. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Calvin, was it? We need to speak to Eligard. It's urgent. Oh, I'm afraid that's quite impossible. Did you hear the speech? She's on lockdown until she completes her next great invention. But lucky for you, I'm here. How can I help you? I mean, I'm no Eligard. But I'm still pretty cool. Can you give her a message, please? No, I'm afraid not. Look, I can tell you're not from around here. Level with me. Who are you? Why do you need to see Eligard? We don't do tours this time of year. I must tell you. I have a message from Gabriel, okay? Eligard's old friend? Hmm. You must admit that this all sounds a little outlandish. Jesse! Show him the amulet. Look, this is Gabriel's amulet. It's how I got here. It's how I found Eligard in the first place. Oh my. Well, that is interesting. If you'd like, I could send that to Eligard. Maybe that would help your mission. Might not be a bad idea. No way. Gabriel gave this amulet to me. No way am I parting with it. Well, fine then. I don't have time for this. I'm afraid I have many more things to attend to than answering all of your questions. I must go. Better just take this repeater and disable the stair controls. We don't want any troublemakers disturbing Eligard. Guess we'll need to get another repeater. Right. Or a one. Yeah, right. I have no idea how it works, but that is pretty amazing. Hi. Hey, how's it going? How you doing? Uh, here to see the next great revolution in entertainment? It is pretty amazing. Actually, I was wondering, can you spare a repeater? Oh, sorry, friend. Uh, actually, just used my last one on this puppy. Uh, one of the key components that helps the cows dance. <laughs> Need a hand with anything? That's mighty groovy of you to offer, uh, but I'm doing just fine, thanks. So long as that dunderhead sticks over there. What am I looking at, exactly? This friend of mine is the bovine lava disco. The perfect fusion of my two loves, cows and music. Eligard's going to see it and make me her protege for sure. I'm actually going to keep on keeping on. Enjoy the dancing cows. Just stay away from that little uh, schoolboy, all right? He's never had an original idea in his life. Talk 
to him anyways. Hey, what's up? What's up? Here to see the best machine that's ever graced Redstonia's shores. Some people say I lack modesty. Tell me about this machine of yours. It's freaking huge. The mighty Megmaster 9 million? Yeah, <laughs> it's huge. It's bigger than huge. It's immense. Does it do anything other than be big? It walks, I think. But most importantly, it'll totally nab me the spot as Elagard's protege. But, but why am I telling you all this? I'm trying to become Elagard's protege over here, and you're probably all in cahoots with that disco weirdo over there. I'm pretty sure he just enjoys torturing cows. Been real chatty with that disco friend of yours. What's he been telling you about me, huh? He's just jealous. Doesn't think I deserve to be Elagard's protege. Which I will be, obviously. Hey, ha, this rivalry's none of my business. Fine. Just don't listen to anything he says. Oh, oh no. Uh, just take a repeater. Hey, 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 what do you think you're doing over there, pal? That's one of the key components of my uh, bovine lava disco. Okay, let's try to find something else. Need a freaking repeater. Let's go over here. Oh, there's a chest. Oh man, stone! Jackpot! That's some nice stone. Still warm. Alright, let's try to talk to him. Hello there, I, uh... Welcome to Mabel's Mighty Cowpult! Make your cows soar through the air with a wide-eyed stare. Be amazed! Be astounded! Hey, you got any spare repeaters? I could really use one. Oh, sorry friend. Tapped out. Why does... Why do you... Why are you doing this to cows? Oh, spare me the false compassion. Deep down in all people, there lurks the overwhelming desire to throw cows. Admit it! And what do you have here? You are about to witness the world's first cowapult machine. I came up with the idea when I lived in a place called Boomtown. But now, I am here, and the cows are a-flying! <laughs> Hi there! What? what? Look, you're gonna have to speak up there! Oh, I just said hi! Much better! What can I do for you? You wanna see my TNT cannon? You say something? Speak up now! Do you have a repeater I could use? Sorry! None of those to spare! Can you get us in the dome? What? Can't hear ya! But if it's about getting into Elagard's dome, no can do! Sorry! How does your machine work? Still a work in progress! But eventually, it'll launch people high into the air so they can see for miles around! Cool! Theoretically. I like you, sport. Here, have some redstone dust. Dust from a strange man. Cool. Bad dust. Huh, something must not be right. Man, he 
Ugh, you took the repeater! Why does everyone have to make this difficult? It's not safe! Duck! Watch your language, Missy! seen all these inventions? These inventors are all incredible. Records making a command block. How do you make a repeater? So, crafting a repeater, how do you do that? We need three stone, two redstone torches, and one pile of redstone dust to make one. Okay, I'm gonna keep trying to open the dome. I'll see what I can do to help. Stone torches. Oh, let me go that way. Cows don't exactly have a wide spectrum of emotion, so it's hard to tell if they're happy or traumatized. <laughs> That's actually funny. Anything with him, can't do anything with him. Okay, how far can I go back? Can't talk to her. Hello! Why, hey there! I'm Sandy, and what you see before you is the future. The future kind of looks like a lump of slime blocks. Ah, don't let the looks deceive you. This here is a genuine flying machine. So I guess... Wow, so I guess you don't mind heights then. I'd be a little scared going way up in the sky like that. Uh, yeah. Scared? Who's scared? I'm not scared of heights at all. I'm lying. I'm totally terrified of them. And yet you wanna... fly? What can I say? The heart wants what the heart wants. Flying machine, huh? Does it actually fly? You better believe it, but uh, only straight up for now. Any chance you've got a spare repeater? Sorry, no dice. Well, I'll leave you to it. Looks like you've got a lot of work to do. Well, good chatting with you, but I better get back to work. Those skies aren't going to explore themselves. Why not? What's worse that can happen? Oh no! Oh no! 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 So high! Going so very high. Sorry. That's okay. Now that the fear has completely paralyzed me, I'm almost enjoying myself. Tell your friends about my invention. Spent ages on it. Wow. Wonder how high it'll go. Nothing. <laughs> Worth a shot, I guess. Did Sandy just take off? Oh, I never thought she'd actually be able to do it. Oh, you didn't. Yeah, crazy, right? She she just took off. Guess she just really wanted to fly. Anyway, you must be here to see my incredible auto farmer. 
Why waste time planting sugarcane when it could be planting itself? You got a repeater? Sorry, already used all mine. I got some redstone torches, though. I've really got to see Eligard. Oh, I see. Trying to prove how much you want the spot as her protege so I'll be intimidated? <laughs> well, it's not working. Auto farming, huh? What's the deal with that? Oh, it's real simple. Planting sugarcane takes time. With my system, that's time you save and put right back in your rhetorical time pocket. I'll just be going then. If you need a better way to plant sugarcane, you know where to look. Hey, thanks for taking care of that cow launching nut job over there. The constant splashing and mooing was driving me nuts. Here, take these as a token of my gratitude. That's some primo crafting material right there. Awesome, thanks. Yeah, Yo. Okay, I can do this. Redstone repeater, redstone repeater, redstone repeater. Torch, torch. Okay. Done. Pretty nice, if I may compliment myself. Okay, now... Let's go over here. I think I need to talk to her. No, it's all right. Okay, that's a step in the right direction. Uh, oh, let's use metal one. Switch is on. That doesn't seem super useful. I'm working on it, Olivia. These aren't exactly labeled, you know. Switch is on. Okay, good, good. What's the third switch? Bam! Door open. Right. Wow, here it is. Eligard's Redstone Laboratory. Seems more like an entrance or a foyer or something. Don't worry, pal, we'll find her. I just hope she can actually help us. Redstone stuff I've ever seen in my life. You can say that again. Come on, let's keep moving. God, what are those things even for? Maybe, I don't know, breaking things up, keeping intruders out. There are lots of possibilities. Okay, almost. Definitely a step in the right direction. Yeah. Nicely done, Jesse. You're pretty good at this. Hey, what can I say? Me and the Redstone just speak to each other. Uh-huh. She's moving a lot of different ingredients around here. Man. 
Look at all this, huh? Whatever she's working on, if it requires all of these ingredients... Try not to touch anything until we know what it does, okay? I wasn't going to touch anything. I was just going to look really carefully. Come on, let's keep moving. Okay. Off a curtain. Set a switch. That's awesome. This is just like I dreamt it. Entering Eligard's laboratory, seeing her right there. She'll ask me to be her apprentice, and the next thing you know, we'll be changing the world together. Let's just try to save the world first. Time to pace back and forth and check the systems. Inventory request, operational. Delivery latency, speedy. Still talking to my- Whoa, hi, hey, didn't see you sneaking up on me. <laughs> Guess that's the point. Don't touch anything in here, okay? It's all supremely fragile and genius. Did Calvin send you? You my new assistants? New assistants with a stupidly <laughs> adorable pig, that is. <laughs> Eligard. No time for specifics, I'm afraid. Hey, you. Goggle girl. Switch on that T-flop circuit to activate the delivery chutes. And you, non-goggle guy? Grab me a blaze rod and an iron block. She wants me to do something for her. What if I screw it up? What if I... Oh, I feel lightheaded. Wow, now I need an assistant to help with my assistant. Think you can handle it on your own? Olivia? O Olivia, can you hear me? I don't think that I've ever fainted before. Ugh, oh, so embarrassing. Everything working over... Ooh. Hmm... Fine, I'll just do it myself, then. Come on, come on, come on! Big winner, big winner, big... Loser! Ugh. Trial number 6,451. Another bust. Now, about you three. Uh, your friend here. Does she fall over frequently? Is this gonna be a regular occurrence? I... No. I'm sorry. I was just so excited to... And with me always pacing around, lost in my own brilliant thoughts, I could have tripped over you and conked my brain. Brilliant thoughts, gone. <laughs> I have to confess something, Eligard. We're not here to be your assistants. Whew. Kind of glad, actually. What with Madame faints a lot over there. <laughs> so, why are you here? We're actually here to get your help. There's a giant wither storm, and it's attacking the entire world. A wither what? What are you talking about? Who who sent you? Was it Calvin? Calvin? Gabriel sent me. Look, you both seem like very pleasant people who are prone to fainting, but I simply don't have the brain power for this. I'm in the middle of my greatest project to date. A powerful block capable of altering reality itself. <laughs> I'm so close, I can practically taste it. And it tastes like victory. You're trying to make a command block. Let me help you. Wait, 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 wait. How do you know what a command block is? Not to seem belittling, but we are talking about some mega, ultra-genius level stuff here. You've seen one up close before. It was Ivor's. He's done something terrible with it. The world needs the Order of the Stone. That's why we're here. 
Ugh, sorry to bust your circuits, but the order isn't really together anymore. We, uh, sort of disassembled. That's actually kind of why we're here. Gabriel's amulet. This certainly changes things. So do you believe us now? Yes. This is serious indeed. All the more reason why I need to finish my command block. I can use it to fight this Witherstorm monster thing or whatever. Necessity is the originator of invention. And that monster is my necessity for inventing, of which I am the originator. That sounds perfect. Your Witherstorm problem was created by a command block, yes? That means a command block could be the perfect way of beating it. And maybe... Will you help me make one? It's going to work this time. I can feel it. You're the genius, Eligard. Let's get started. Fantastic. going to end this episode right here i hope you all enjoyed if you did leave a like and a share and if you're new subscribe and i hope to catch you on the next one y'all have a great rest of the day later